get back, and is that, you can say it now, lingering from having two surgeries that ended your previous season? Um, just, yeah, I, you know, I think um, the after effects definitely played a little bit of a portion, and that was my goal. My goal was to get up to 255 this offseason. That's where I'm at right now. I'd like to keep it um, at that. Um, I feel great, and, you know, I, I think that's um, just besides the after effects of the two surgeries, I think that's... Uh, a great showing of what this new strength staff has done, and um, it's been really impressive across the board, not just with me. So, what do you exciting. do to gain 10 pounds when you're obviously? I mean, I was talking to some of the other guys that there's there's still heavy doses of cardio. I mean, you're running sure, yeah, crazy, yeah. but you have to put on weight while they're doing yeah, yeah. it. How, how is that done during the off season? Um, you know, it's. I think it's easier first and foremost as you get older because um, as the load of maybe school or maybe since you get used to school a little bit better here at Notre Dame, um, you can focus on things like um, being able to eat as much as you need to be. Um, me this semester, I'm in one class for three credits, so you know I finish the workout. You're right, there's a lot of cardio and everything, but a, a tough lift, and then I go eat, and then you know I eat two hours later, eat three hours later, and then so that, that that's been nice, and that's been uh, an easy way to definitely put on the weight. Sounds like your uh, training program is better than some of the guys that have to drop 15, 20 pounds, oh, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, they don't yeah, get to do definitely, <laughs> yeah, I'd be, definitely rather be in my position. Yeah. <laughs> But Coach Kelly mentioned he was he's really it's it's kind of obvious that none of the coaches are naming names right now in the spring. I, I think sure. it's more of a, a whole team approach. But he mentioned that and he mentioned all the four type tight ends that these are guys that can all split out and help out a wide receiver. Sure. All guys that can help in line. Do you what do you see the greatest need though at the position and is that why you put on the weight? That, yeah, I mean I think first and foremost I think the biggest need that we have is really consistency. Um, I think over the last few years, we've had flashes of, of really great play, both in the run game and the pass game. Um, and we just need to be, a, I think, a group all together, all four to five of us who uh, can do everything well consistently. Um, and yeah, and I think he's right. I think we're all trying to be um, you know, a guy who can um, be sufficient in the run game, in line, but then also be able to split out you know, the next play and run a 30 yard, whatever. So. And really the last one for me, Chip, uh, Coach Long's offense, it, it, tempo is what they're, a lot of people are talking about. It's what he talked about today. Where, yep. How do you see it stressing the defense? And I know it's you, your four practices. It's not like you're sure. a veteran at it yet in this, but how do you see it stressing the defense from your point of view? Sure. Well, I mean, I think um, from what we've seen all, already, I think it's something that will, will definitely um, you know, run the defenses down um, later in the game. Um, and I think going back to what I said originally, I think the, the strength staff that we have um, – this offseason has really got us ready to um, maybe play at our best in the third and fourth quarter, which, you know, last year statistically we struggled. Um, and, you know, I think, yeah, I think that's something that he's preached. He preaches, you know, in the third and fourth quarter when the defense is run down, you know, we're going to be at our best. Um, and I think that's something that as fast as we're moving already, I think that's something I could definitely see happen. And I'm sorry, I, you're probably, I'm sure you're not going to make your decision to, to stay for fifth year or go pro or anything because of an offensive coordinator, but this sure. is kind of – propensity for tight end usage was that was that something that came with came in to oh play sure when, yeah when I mean yeah you're right you know that's not like the the actual right, you know right, the point right. and you're not gonna make a decision based on that but him coming in and explaining you know exactly what did he what he wanted to do um with the tight ends in this offense was really exciting for me and I mean at that point I was I was all in on it so right, thanks sir thank you